Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. So what we're going to do today is um, we are out of feed. As you can tell, um, I just put out my last bucket of feed for these bison and um, they're giving me that look. So it's time to, it's time to get some feed and it's winter time. So we're feeding more uh, grain and we're feeding more hay as well. Um, just because like you've seen in my last videos, uh, there, there's just not a lot of grass left to eat for these bison. And, and if there is, they're gonna find it and they're gonna consume it. So, um, but I wanna talk to you a little bit about right here. This is um, a one ton bulk feeder, uh, feed buggy, whatever you wanna call it. It's called several different things. But let's take a look at this right here. This is, it's pretty handy. You've probably seen it in some of my videos uh, of me feeding out of it, but it's really handy. These have become very popular here in the past couple of years, it seems like. You're starting to see a whole lot more of them. And um, I, they're just easy. Um, you can buy bulk feed cheaper, and matter of fact, the feed that I get, that we feed our bison, you can't buy it in a, in a bag. So what we do is we we have to get it bulk. And um, I think Daniel from Arnold's Family Homestead feeds the same um, feed to uh, to his goats and his, and his critters as well. But um, and he has a bulk feeder too. But um, so in order to get that feed, we had to have this bulk feeder, and plus it just lasts longer. And now we have a herd of 10 bison. So um, now we're putting on some more feed every day. We're adding more feed. So it's just way better to have one of these one of these things. I've had it for about a year now. And um, I'll talk to you a little bit more about it later. But we're going to go pick up feed over in Stillwater Milling. It's where it's kind of the central location down here in, in southern Oklahoma to get feed, at least um, in where we're from. There's lots of people that get feed here. And they have a lot of variety but we're gonna go pick up feed it's probably about 25 minutes away from the farm so it's super convenient all right let's go all right welcome to the inside of pearl the truck um there's a lot going over here a lot going on over here at the mill you can see right here this is the scales and this is where i'm going to pull up and i've got to weigh everything on the scales um my buggy's empty and then I'm going to uh, go inside and get a form and get my weight and then I'm going to go get my feed and go back on the skill, weigh how much feed I got and I'm going to go in and get my ticket and pay for my feed. A little bit of process but it's alright.
don't know what the heck is going on. Just got the tractor out here and cleaning up the pasture a little bit and for some reason the blood got flowing and they started acting a little bit different and I'm not sure. The blood started rolling and they do not like what's going on. There's some old fence out here in one of the pastures. I'm just trying to clean it up and they're not used to this tractor and all this stuff I'm, I'm moving so they don't know how to handle it. So this is uh, pretty funny to watch. bison are so curious they're like goats i may have said that before but they are really like goats i come out here in the pasture and they just come alive they've been napping and hanging out and i interrupted their nap and um i mean they come out here and got a smell of everything and check everything out it's like this guy back here doesn't need to be playing in barbed wire exactly stirring up stuff <laughs> these animals are so curious Oh, jeez. itch. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks for lowering the front end. Loader there. Peaches. Dunbar, you just want to fight with something. else hanging out. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's good just to get a lot of work done. Um, during football season, I don't have a lot of spare time. It takes a lot of time from me. Um, but, you know, you gotta keep the bison fed. We're upping up their feed some more. Um, it's winter time, less grass. And then also, we've got a larger herd now. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed it, seeing the process, how we do things. And then when we have a little bit of extra time, time trying to get some other stuff done around the farm using a little tractor um, that we have. So thank you guys. Um, thanks for following. Thanks for all the, the comments. You guys are really positive. 
Um, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. You can check out our uh, website, crosstimberbison.com, uh, for merchandise or anything like that. Thank you, guys. Four. Four. Oh. One, two, three. <laughs> three, two, one. It's hung on. Okay, one, okay. <laughs> uh. Start counting. So.